Um, my name is Dara Shotman. I'm doing com common entry in NCID, and um, this is my portfolio that I use to get into NCID. So, um, the first bit of advice that I would give anyone going into or coming into a, an art college, any sort of art college, and making a portfolio to do so would be do very well, first look at other people's portfolios and get an idea of the layout because the layout's important. Um, so it has some sort of beginning and end, rather than just interesting things that you're adding into your portfolio or think they're pictures that you think are are um, good or might get you into a college. You want to have some sort of story to it. Um, you don't always have to as well, but it's nice to have some a kind of connection between or a theme between your portfolio, so it's an easier read as well. Um, these are just a couple of drawings that I did and basic observational drawings um, from my PLC. I did a PLC last year in Gorey and um, that's a really good PLC to do just to get an idea, to get a better idea of what exactly you have to do um, in order to in order to appeal to an art college. Um, so that you have kind of a direction to your portfolio rather than just having something that's a bit all over the place. Um, you can see that as we progress in the portfolio, it's not necessarily getting more complicated or as if there's more stuff on the page, it's just that there's a bit more understanding of, you can see at the start here, there's a little bit more of the idea of form and of form of the face rather than when you go on, there's more of an idea of just observation as a whole. So that's just kind of an idea of the progression in your work as you're going through your portfolio. If you want to have some, some kind of story to it, that's just what I'm referring to. Um, if you move on, you can see there's different media as well. You want to have a bit of mixed media in there rather than just one, one medium, like well, maybe your favorite medium is painting. You can do a bit of painting as well, but make sure that you have a lot of different sources and a lot of different mixed media as well so that you can show you have a wide a wide range of skills but not only a wide range of skills you have an interest in different in learning about different skills because that's what they're looking for they're looking for um they're looking for people who have an interest in learning more and in expanding their knowledge of their art rather than just sticking to one specific thing and another thing i would say is something that you've probably heard a lot if you've seen other interviews or if um, talks to anyone who teaches in an art college is that don't focus on finished pieces. As you can see in my portfolio here and probably in a lot of the other ones, there's no real image here that looks completed or that looks like a kind of a populist image that, that people would look at and go, wow, that's very interesting. It's more your own personal experience and your own personal form and art form and interests that you're displaying through your portfolio. You can move on, you can see there's a lot more different media, there's different papers, there's little explanations next to each picture, just not even explaining how necessarily you made the, made the picture or not necessarily how you made the picture, but more what you were thinking when you were making the picture and how it made you feel making the picture and how you progressed throughout the, throughout the portfolio as well. So it's a, lot more, it's a lot more based on your own personal experience rather than, rather than any finished pieces. You can see as well. Like as well, tape as well as like you can make drawings out of a lot of different things, not just pencil and paper. You can make paintings out of a lot of different things as well. Like I would, like these collages, I would even consider paintings because they're, there's a lot of color splashed into the drawings as well, as just the drawings themselves. Can move on, there's more and more, just based on photography as well. Photography is a big thing. If you want to really portray something, if you want to really capture something that you've drawn, like say for example you've made a drawing out of wire, you want to have an interesting or a good clear photograph of that drawing um, behind a white background so that you can really 
show the effort that you put into making that making that drawing. And then there's some tonal studies as well. You can see the progression of the tonal studies there. It looks like more of a finished piece. And then as we move on, the less and less defined and more about the tonal aspect of the faces I was looking at rather than making a finished piece. Here as well. Just the progression of your work is very important to show that you want to learn more and that you have learned more in your experience of making the portfolio as well. 